Hello everyone and welcome back. In this session, we will observe some numerical problems pertaining to the concepts that we learned in the previous one. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Observe this question. Consider a hard disk drive with the following specifications. So, only two specs are given in here. First, the diameter of the innermost track is provided as 28 centimeters. Then the recording density is given as 4 kilobytes per centimeter. We are supposed to find out the track capacity. So let's solve it. During the previous session, we learned that recording density is track capacity upon circumference of the track. In the specifications, we have been provided with the recording density and the diameter of the innermost track using which we can find out the circumference of the track. So, from this equation, we can easily find out the track capacity. Now, the recording density is 4 kilobytes per centimeter and the circumference of the track is pi d. Now, pi is close to 22 by 7 and the diameter here is 28 centimeters. Now, 7 4 is a 28 and 4 into 22 is 88. Hence, the circumference is 88 centimeters. Multiplying both the sides of the equation with 88 centimeters, we can obtain the track capacity as 88 centimeters multiplied by 4 kilobytes per centimeters. So, these two centimeter units will cancel out each other. So, we are left with 88 multiplied by 4 kilobytes, which amounts to 352 kilobytes. So, in this particular hard disk, all the tracks can store 352 kilobytes of data. Pretty straightforward, right? Now let's move on to the next question. Consider a hard disk drive with the following specifications. So the hard disk has got four surfaces. The track capacity is mentioned as 352 kilobytes and the disk has the rotational speed of 5400 rpm. Now we are being asked, what is the data transfer rate? Let's solve it now. 5400 RPM means 5400 rotations in 1 minute or 60 seconds. Therefore, for one rotation, the time taken will be way lesser than that. Hence, 60 by 5400 seconds, which equates to 1 upon 90 seconds. Interestingly enough, in one rotation, the track of the surface over which the read-write head is currently situated can be read. Basically, following this convention, this read-write head can read this entire track in 1 by 90 seconds. Now, since the track capacity is mentioned as 352 kilobytes, therefore, in 1 upon 90 seconds, technically 352 kilobytes of data is transferred. So, in 1 second, 19 to 352 kilobytes of data is transferred. Now, this is the data transfer rate for one surface. And in the specs, four surfaces are specified. Therefore, the total data transfer rate will be 4, that is the number of surfaces, multiplied by the data transfer rate of one surface, that is 4 into 90 into 352 kilobytes per second. This amounts to 123.75 megabytes per second. So, the data transfer rate is 123.75 megabytes per second. By the way, while calculating this, first we multiplied all these factors, then we divided the result by 2 raised to the power 10, that is 1024. The unit was already in kilobytes per second. Another 2 raised to the power 10 resulted in megabytes per second. Let's now move on to the next one. Consider a hard disk drive with the following specifications. The rotational speed is given as 3000 rpm and the seek time is 12 milliseconds. We are being asked what is the average access time of the hard disk drive. So let's solve it. In the session secondary memory hard disk drives, we learned that the average access time can be represented as TS, that is the seek time, plus TR, that is the rotational delay, plus T data transfer, that is the time taken to transfer data. 
Now from the available informations, we can write 12 milliseconds in place of the TS plus TR plus T data transfer. Since no information has been given about the T data transfer, assuming it's negligible, we can take it as zero. Now what about the rotational delay? Well, it's not directly given. Instead, the rotational speed is given. So, 3000 RPM means 3000 rotations in 60 seconds. Therefore, one rotation will take 60 by 3000 seconds, which is 1 upon 50 seconds. I hope you remember that we have to consider half of the rotation time since we are considering average rotational delay. So, half rotation will take 1 by 2 into 1 by 50 seconds, that is 1 by 100 seconds, which is 10 milliseconds, because 1 second is 10 raised to the power minus 3 milliseconds. So, this is the average rotational speed. Remember, it's the average. Therefore, the average access time of the hard disk is 12 milliseconds, that is the seek time, plus 10 milliseconds, which is the average rotational delay, which results in 22 milliseconds. All right, people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will observe some more numerical problems. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.